Hello besties, welcome to my unboxing of my most recent Boutique by the Box order. This is the Stitch Fix box. Let's jump in. Okay, so in the past I did get another box from Boutique by the Box. They sent me their Young, Fabulous, and Broke box for free and I posted an unboxing of that. I think I've sold everything in that box except for two items. Um, I don't know if I would totally recommend that box unless the season is right. It was a lot of like cute summery items but this I was hoping for a little bit more variety and I think I got it. If you look at their description on the Stitch Fix box it lists a ton of different brands, Good American, Spanx, and so I was like okay with their deal they had these items come out to $12.75 a piece I want to say and I was like okay if I get a couple good things I bet like I can make my money back really quick. So I'm actually gonna do two videos of this. I'll have this video of the unboxing and then I'm going to record another video going forward of how long it takes me to make back my money on this box to determine if it's a good deal for you in the future. And I will say, I did peek in the box. I looked at everything already because I was like, I don't wanna film this video while my hair is all dirty and gross. And then I was waiting for some good natural sunlight. Didn't get that. Anyways, here we are, we're doing it. Um, okay, so one brand that I don't think I've ever picked up before, Barber, I think that's how you say it. Cute little floral print top. This is new with tags, women's size six. I was like, okay, I did look through the sizes already and I feel like I got a good variety. I know sometimes with these boxes, you're concerned you're gonna get like a ton of extra, extra small or like, Everything is just 5XL, but this seemed like a good variety. Next we have Loren, Ralph Loren. I think you read it all. I don't think it's just Loren, or is it? Comment below. Maybe that's my strategy on the video. I'm just gonna mispronounce all the brand names so people correct me in the comments, and then my video will get pushed by the algorithm. Anyways, this cute little velvety top. I wish I had got this I wish I had ordered this sooner so that I could have posted this in time for New Year's Eve because I think it would be such a cute top. This is a size 1X and I was looking up what is listed. I don't know if there's a price on this. Um, it doesn't say what the original price was, but I saw some people listing it for like $65, $80 on Poshmark. So I was like, okay, even if I list mine at 60 to then undercut those people, take an offer like... I can make some good money on that, hopefully. We got another barber top, new with tags. So far, everything has been new with tags. And then more Loren. These are size 18. They've got the belt, new with tags, some dress pants. They are a little see-through when I hold them up. Um, so I'll have to note that in the description or I'll have to see what anyone else does but it says the retail price on those was $185. I've never owned a pair of pants that cost $185. Okay then this I was excited to see in there we have a good American dress this is new with tags this gold color I'm seeing a couple tiny snags in the fabric so I might try to like cut some of those off but cute little leg slit I think this will still sell for good money. It's a size one, which I think for them is a small. More Ralph Lauren. This is a size 2X button down top. These I was excited to see. These are Levi's. These ones are the 501 skinny jeans, which I don't sell a ton of skinny jeans now, but these are size 27, X28, and new with tags. So I was like, I know some people are still into skinny jeans and they have the raw hem. I love this wash. <laughs> okay, earlier this year, I was going on my trip to Europe and I was like, I wanna buy another pair of jeans for this. And I went to Levi to buy a pair of their like straight leg jeans because I was like, I don't have time to order anything online. And I just like was very particular with what I wanted. And I spent legitimately $80 on a pair of jeans at the Levi store. I went on my trip, I wore them a ton, like it was worth it. I come back, I visit my friend in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and she had a pair of the same Levi's jeans in a slightly darker wash that she had got at Marshall's for $20. And she was like, I just don't like the way they fit on me. I'm gonna return them. I was like, well, can I try them on and I'll just buy them from you? 
And so I paid her $25. She had paid 20 and I was like, happy birthday. You keep it. But I was like, gosh, dang it. I just paid $80 for like the same jeans a few weeks ago. But now I have two pairs. Anyways, I love mine. So if you're looking and then these really excited for these, these are the Levi wedgie jeans, which is what I got. They're like high rise, straight leg, snug through the hip and thigh, which I love. And these are a size 32. So very excited for those. I do think those will be a very nicely priced sale, hopefully a quick sale at the same time. Okay, we have a ton of stuff in bags that I have to open, so. Um, another barber top, this one is a size four. Cute little plaid, this one looks good. What is this? Anyways, um, I'm, I'm kind of glad that these are all new with tags because then hopefully I will not wear them and hopefully I will just list them and sell them. Then we have a scotch and soda. This brand I've never picked up before. Maybe it's just not big in Iowa, but this feels really nice, looks really cute. Luckily it is not my color. If you've kept up with me on Instagram or TikTok, I went to House of Colors in Ankeny with Amy and I got my colors done and I'm a fall palette. Um, and basically shades of pink don't look that great on me. So I will not be keeping that. So I honestly, like getting your colors done was so fun. And I think it's going to make it easier for me now to not steal things from my inventory because I'm like, oh, you know what? That color doesn't really look that good on me anyways. Okay. We've got more scotch and soda. These are just pajama pants. Not super excited for these. I honestly don't pick up a ton of pajamas. I've picked up Nick and Nora a couple times. I just don't feel like people are buying secondhand pajamas as much, but maybe in this case, if someone like has a top and they need a different size bottom, they can buy these, but oh, these are a size large. Another brand that I've never heard of, Chloe Kristen. Okay, cute little pink and white plaid top. This would be great for summer. Um, where is the size tag? Size large, dry clean only. This will be cute. I did see another one of these listed already. Um, so I think the key for these boxes is that order it as soon as you can. And when you get the stuff, list it as soon as you can so that you are beating out the other resellers who are buying the same boxes and getting the same inventory. Um, just in case someone's looking your listings up sooner, which would probably apply to like anything you buy listed as soon as possible. Oh, this is cute. Ooh, okay. This is Aster the label, which I've looked at before and it wasn't like super, super great. Um, keep dropping these little gel packets all over me. I feel like their stuff is kind of hit or miss. I will say, I feel like it used to be really good. And recently I've checked comps on a few things and it hasn't been that great. So but this is a new tags maxi dress. So hopefully some girly maybe going on a trip will want to buy this from me. My pile is falling. Okay, we've got more scotch and soda. We've got some pants here. These say winter edition. These are a size, it says 2732. Oh, these are not my style. Um, but you know, hopefully they are someone else's style. And they're new with tags still. So. We have some Adriano. Adriano? Adriana? Okay, we have some Adriano Goldschmied. Just AG. That's all it says everywhere, but I feel like the actual brand name is longer. Anyways, these are the Cigarette Leg Prima Crop in size 32. I don't know. I feel like this is definitely a fall color. And I'm a little worried because now it is winter. Okay, and then we've got some Bella Doll shorts, size 29, cute color. This is in my fall color palette, uh, but these are not my size. So hopefully someone else wants to buy them. Okay, we've got some Hudson mid-rise loose fit jeans. These are the Jade jeans in size 29, 30. Not bad, raw hem. I don't know if I've ever sold Hudson jeans before. Actually, I have. I bought one pair at the Minnesota Bins. They were like size 24, so not a good size anyways. And they had a red stripe down the side and they took forever to sell. So hopefully the fact that these are a better size, these are new with tags, they'll, they'll go a bit faster. This is a more 
Vert? Ver? I don't know if it's supposed to be French and the T is silent. The French just like don't say the last letter of the words from what I've learned. Anyways, size medium. This is cute. What is? This is a little weird. Who designed this? <laughs> okay, then we have another brand I've never heard of, Cosmic Blue Love. Maybe I have seen this before, just not this tag. Size 28, some shorts. If you want them, all of this stuff will be listed. Okay, last item. Save this for last because it has an All Saints tag sticking out. I've found All Saints before, never knew with tags. But the things I had found sold pretty well. Maxi dress, we got a slit in the back. I feel like the top... Now this is just me, don't get offended. I feel like this is kind of ugly. It has this like, what do you even call this? This like tacky strip around the top because it looks like you could take the straps off and wear it strapless. Uh, but I don't know if that makes the fabric like bunch up weird. I just feel like if you were gonna spend that much money on a dress, hopefully it would be designed better. Retail price $149, oh boy, US size eight. Anyways, so that is the haul. I got 20 items, um, it was, they had a sale. I want to say it was like $225 total. Everything came out to $12.75 a piece, I'm pretty sure. So whatever that math adds up to. Um, if you want to buy something on Boutique by the Box, you can use my code AMBER10 for 10% off. They changed this. It used to be you would only get 10% off if it was your first purchase. And then I had another code AMBER5 if you had purchased before. Uh, but now it's just AMBER10 all the time. There are some sale boxes it doesn't work on. But hey... Throw that promo code in there, see if it works. I think if you've purchased before, I make like 3% on that. So I'm not becoming a millionaire over here, but you are helping support me by using my code when you check out. So like I said, a part two video is coming. I'm going to list this all and see how long it takes me to make back my money. Like I said, I'm hoping a few of these things sell really quick and I can get to that $225 mark really quickly. Um, but some things I feel like are a little more seasonal, a little more seasonal and might take some more time to sell. So check back in, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all of the above. Okay. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.